Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Bioshock. Uh, I mean Dead Space. No, wait. Singularity. Yeah, that's right. Singularity. Brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. This is going to be one of the uh, new Let's Plays I'm starting here, and for some reason on the computer version, the sound starts out really low if you're on, uh, like, Windows 7. Um, so you actually have to go to the mixer and turn up the sound of this game. I don't know why it does that on, uh, like, Windows 7 and so forth. As, as you can hear right now, the sound uh, doesn't quite sound like it's too high. Um, but in a second here, the sound is suddenly much, much louder. So, anyway, that's... <laughs> I guess what you have to do, you just open the mixer uh, from your desktop. But anyway, if you don't know how to do that, um, it mainly is just a little bit of a speaker icon in your system tray. And you just right click it and uh, open up the mixer there. At least that's how I do it on mine. Actually, it might be left click. Whatever. Anyway, I'm sure you can all figure that out for yourself. You're all smart enough, right? All right, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Um, i got a hard one going here. That, uh, it's actually pretty hard to do it on hard mode. And um, I don't think I'm going to be doing hard mode for this Let's Play. Just because of how difficult it really is. And I don't want to be repeating the same area over and over and over. So I'm going to go to normal. Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. So basically we're going because the United States is scared. That's normal, right? Spartan Team Titan 1 Actual, you are now entering Russian airspace. Proceed with caution. What is this, Call of Duty? Roger that, Titan 1. Continuing on this vector. ETA to target three minutes. The rest must be scared shitless if they're willing to risk an international incident sending us in like this. Intel says this bird's been abandoned for 50 years. You know what they say about military intelligence. So keep your head on a swivel. Spartan team, maintain present speed and heading. What the Talk hell? That type one. You see that? Yeah, I did. Some crazy shit over there. The Spartan 2 1, Spartan Holy. 2 1, we're reading a radiation spike on your vector. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh crap, did 
Did I die already? Was I supposed to do something? Oh, no, no. Here we go. This looks familiar. Fire, water, Bioshock, anyone? Apparently the fire can't hurt me though. A lot of twisted metal on this dock. I wonder where that Devlin guy went. Yeah, those look like the doors from Stolen. Hmm. Wow. Oh, what's this? The death of Dr. Demichev in the fire had far worse results than anyone expected. We had hoped... Dr. Barasov would be allowed to continue with our research, but we just received word that Moscow has deemed our work to be too dangerous. Any further study into E-99 is being discontinued, and all personnel are to be removed from the island. Katorka 12 will be completely shut down. All our work will be lost. You know, I think that guy from the very beginning was probably Stephen Bloom. Welcome to Katorga 12. All first-time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the North Gate. North Gate, huh? Am I registered yet? Do I have to sign a note? I don't need that anymore. This is Devlin 4 1. We were hit, god damn it, I repeat. We were hit. <coughs> god damn Titan it. One actual here. What's your status, Captain? We got punched out. Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy. Switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. Honestly, this has to be one of the worst ropes I've ever seen. Looks like they just took a random rock shape and then put a skin of a rope around it. It looks like shit. It's awful. I can't believe they did that in this game, because, I mean, everything else looks pretty good. I don't know why they would do that. That must be like a joke. Really must be a joke of some sort. It takes a lot to get used to using R to pick up items instead of um, using E, because I'm, I'm really, really used to using E, but uh, apparently you can't really do that. Development Community of Science, Industry, and Technological Studies. Yeah, this is really looking like Bioshock now. Remember that uh, beginning from Bioshock with uh, Ryan sitting there, his big old head? Yeah. What was that? Uh, big old Stalin head. Joseph Stalin.